Welcome everybody, I'm Stan. And I'm Rob. And we are at the basement, and today we are playing Mike Propose's classic XCOM UFO defense on the PS1. Go new game. Alright. Let's rock and roll this. Uh, this is Editor Rob. It's my uh, first game here. We're definitely going with beginner because yep. isn't there like a bug or something in this build? <sighs> where it's, they're all like freaking hard? Yeah. Um, I, do, I don't remember, but I, I do remember that beginner is a good choice. And it, it, this is, is kind of off the mouse. It's, it's built for mouse controls. Oh. It honestly is. Where are we starting? We gotta start at the basement. Okay. Alright. I'm alright with that. It's gonna right in the middle of the U.S. <laughs> well... It's not quite where the basement is, but that's kind of more like uh, where Mark comes from. But that's okay. That was a nice photo. I, I think you have plenty. I haven't played the police edition version of this game in a really long time. Yeah, same. I'm just gonna let you do whatever you do. I do different stuff than everybody, so. so. If I remember right, I always order crab leg right away. Like, yep, yep. Like a tank. A tank. A tank is a must. Let's see. Not those Sissy Mary cannon ones. Those nope. Are plus Rocket launcher or, tank. Yep, yeah, it's gonna be heavy, heavy weapons platform cannon shells. No, I don't think so. Yeah, we don't want no heavy weapons platform cannon. Big ass rocket launcher and. I personally usually get four soldiers oh, because yeah. you don't have, I don't even think you have enough to f fill the Sky Ranger right now. Oh, no. I don't it's, remember. It's possible to look at our soldiers and see how many other pussies we got. I do the avalanche launcher missiles. Oh, yeah, that's, that's another one. Oh, to me, this game is just, it's just amazing how, like, and this is a game from what the 90s 91 yeah. something like that and it just it holds up oh it sure does I like play this on pc a lot yeah well that's primarily where i've played it as well it's remarkable to me the the level that this this game has held up uh i believe on this you start with the same soldiers the same every time like even like their uh Stats and stuff. I don't remember for sure. So I'm looking at. I want to look at bravery. If there's any ten braveries, I want to kick their ass out. Oh, are you worried about them being chicken? Yep. When they, uh, we don't want them. One of our homies dying and they freak the shit out and they drop all their crap and run away. <laughs> That's actually maddening. We got some sharpshooters. Oh, look at that guy. Yeah. You know what? Now that I called him out, he's probably the first one to die. Most likely. Tens? I don't know. Tens, I don't know. Good for now. We gotta wait for more people anyway. Yeah, you're probably alright. Okay, circles. And then you gotta load up your Sky Ranger. I think you, you start with. You start with Stingrays on board. You do. You do have a set of avalanche missiles that you can put on. Storage will hook up the other one. Yep. Works. And I load up the Sky Ranger too, because they're gonna have you have like, here's twelve pistols. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I get like, oh yeah, pistols. They're low time unit, but they're worthless. Yeah. Rifles. Everybody Shoes. needs a rifle at least. How many people do we have on board? There sh well, there'll eventually be ten. So the way I run it is. Seven rifles, a heavy cannon, an auto cannon, a and a rocket launcher. That's just my personal. Oh, right. Oh, with research. Oh, jeez. It's getting all these steps I forgot. Uh, everybody has a different preference. Definitely laser, uh, laser weapons. I, I like laser weapons. Yeah. However, medikit is useful. Uh, especially, like, right now, it's like, whatever. A guy dies, a guy dies. Uh... But 
late game, I, I do like having it to save people. Oh, that's true. And the motion scanner actually isn't terrible, especially since... You're good. You got all ten on there. Oh, okay. Uh, the best thing with the motion scanner to me is aliens are completely immobile, but you move... And oh, then yeah. use the motion scanner, it shows you where they are, because you moved. Yeah, oh yes. Kinda cheap, but... Time passes. Ah, oh, your first UFO! It is very Ooh, small, guys. flying very low in the southwest. It looks like south central. I'll try to take Interceptor 2, because you have the yep, yep. smaller missiles. Yeah, it, that'll serve the purpose. Intense sequence as the heat kicks in. <laughs> I like how this game is like, doesn't, there's no exposition, it just. Yeah. Well, it's. Gets the alien. It has a little cutscene in the beginning. Yep. And if you read, even in the instruction manual, I'll, I'll dig out the instruction manual here. Oh, yeah. I, I will uh, dictate the intense instructions that the instruction manual gives you the uh -oh. backstory. Me. Yeah, he is. Out of fuel. Nice try. Try harder next time, jerk. Alright. So here is what you get. Background. It is the year 1999. <laughs> In the future. Uh, it's year 1999. The human race is facing a great threat to its survival. UFOs have started appearing and dis with disturbing regularity in the night skies. Reports of violent human abductions and horrific experimentation has created a worldwide atmosphere of fear. Mass public hysteria has only served to expose Earth's impotence against a vastly superior technology. On December 11, 1998, representatives from the world's most economically powerful countries gathered secretly in Geneva. After much debate, the decision was made to establish a covert, independent body to combat, investigate, and defeat the alien threat. This organization would be equipped with the world's finest pilots, soldiers, scientists, and engineers working together as one multinational force. This force was Earth's only hope if mankind was to avoid extermination or slavery. The organization was named the Extraterrestrial Combat Unit. Or XCOM. Uh, I believe that it's not in here, but I know that I did read <coughs> at some point. Uh, maybe it, maybe it's in here, buried somewhere. Uh, I seem to remember there being a story. Maybe it was in the computer. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe it was in the computer uh, booklet that talks about how like. Countries around the world tried to establish their own independent, uh, and like they're all getting toasted. I think it was because it was like a story of a unit where, like, they got blown up. UFO two is small, high to the east. Get that in interceptor out there. See if we can shoot down this one. We're failing pretty bad so far. Let's do this, guys. And as much praise as I will ha I have for the new XCOM games, uh, I still this is still by far and above my favorite. This is a fabulous game. Ha! You caught it, oh, but it, no. it's over the ocean. That's all right. Um, take take that son of a bitch down. Pew, pew, pew. Miss. Play a shoot around him. Uh, Hits. He's gonna start shooting back now. Ah, but you s crashed it in the... You know what's gonna have to happen? Uh -oh. Terror from the deep. Oh, the they gotta go after them. Aquatoids. Uh, if you go back and play it, <coughs> it's not nearly as hard as it seemed to be. Uh, the, the game to me in the XCOM series that I find insanely, insanely difficult is... Uh, Apocalypse. Oh yeah. It's it's outrageous to me 
how hard that game actually is. I never really got that far in it. Like, even now, I try to... It's having a hard time getting my computer to run it, so... I don't want to play it that badly. Anymore. No, it's... Yeah, you know? it, not that it's... I get, It's not a bad game. It's it's just... It's very difficult. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, and a lot of times I make the wrong choices. And the fact that I very much like to destroy things is very yeah. bad in that game. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I have a tendency to just let guys let loose with machine guns in buildings, <laughs> shoot rockets. Bad things happen. Yeah, it never turns out well. Nine thousand dollars a pop. That's what it's costing you to shoot avalanche missiles. It's totally worth it. These things are awesome. Okay, we loaded up our uh, tank and. Yay, tank! We are ready to. Administer justice upon the aliens. So we can shoot them down on land. Your stiff came in. Right in the mail. Very okay. small, very low, and to the west. I mean, it's. Oh, it's moving west. I, I'm sorry. It's not to the west. West? Right, let's do this. UFO 3. Will UFO 3 be our first target? Is he gonna make it to land? Is he gonna mm, see it? Nope. No. I figures. Ultimately it doesn't matter. Yeah. I might think these ones are back, do they? They may, oh. but destroyed. <laughs> Just vaporized it. Actually that's good for like the end of the month kind of stuff, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. You shoot UFOs down, as many UFOs as you can. That pleases the governments of the world. I like getting to the point where I'm completely self-sufficient. Oh, yeah. Where I'm manufacturing goods and selling them so I don't need the money that they're giving me. A little less pressure. As sad as it might be to say this game taxes the hardware a little bit, uh, it is a long box game, so it's from a time early in the PlayStation's oh, yeah. life that programming this definitely is not at Final Fantasy 7 level of programming skills. Oh. I think this game was even cheap still too when we got it, wasn't it? I don't remember. I think I might have been this one. Yeah, it couldn't have been that much. Alright. What will Rob research? We'll find out when we come back. See you later. Next time. Later.